Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen this game, this is Scourgebringer. You play as a beast known as Kyra, I think her name is. I don't know if I can really see the name anywhere. Um, so far, I have two hours in this game, as you can see. It is pretty skillful, I think. Like, there's a pretty decent skill cap. Or skill requirement, I should say, to this game. Oh, wait. Oh, that, like, locks her in place. Interesting. Alright, so the way this game works... Uh... Kyrie or whatever her name is, is a beast. And all you have to do is actually perform. Uh, when you don't perform, it's really bad. Like, you die pretty easily in this game. Combat in this game is basically you hopping on a monster, doing an alpha strike, and making sure you don't get hit. So there's no iframes in this game. Any attack that comes out can hit you if you somehow go through it. Uh, it is also a roguelike. So as we are progressing through the game, we're going to get stuff like this. You can choose things like get all your stuff back, uh, max HP, uh, weapons drop randomly after finishing a room. Um, so I'm going to go for HP here. I'm actually kind of bad at this game. Well, we're not supposed to say that. The days of saying we're bad are gone. What I will say is there's a lot to this game that we have to learn. But basically, the exclamation points that are showing up on the enemies, those are all attacks. And we have to actually not get hit by those or else it's going to be bad. Uh, can I unlock new perks? I have unlocked quite a bit of perks so far. Uh, of course, there's a lot more to be done. I actually deflected that. Yeah, what you have to do... If there's an exclamation point, you have to hit triangle. Which stuns the enemy if they are attacking. You can also shoot. Yo, thank you for that damage, Death Shoujo. Death Shoujo. And welcome, for sure. So because there's no iframes in this game, you really have to peace out if there's an attack coming. You can't afford to try to outplay a lot of the attacks. And it's gonna be like really evident once the boss shows up. You all will see boss combat. It can be like really difficult here. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of health. There's also a combo meter. Gain combo by uh, doing well. Uh, it's like Risk of Rain or Dead Cells where you unlock things and they start showing up. Um, so I don't know about that. And of course I only have two hours in the game. What I would say is that the perks so far have been like meta enhancements. Like the character gets gradually better at playing the game. Uh, 
Uh, if there's more than that, I don't know. But what I really like about this game is it really reminds me of uh, Zone of the Enders. Ow. In terms of trying to control the character while enemies are still doing stuff the entire time. Oh, I can fast travel now. I actually unlocked fast travel last night. I also unlocked that. But yeah, you see, I'm fighting one monster, and then the other one fires a bullet at me. And I took the hit because I didn't do anything about it. But you basically like hit monsters and then you chase them. But once you get into boss fights, it starts getting a little uh, different. And I have a gun. Like you all won't see me fire the gun very much, uh, which is like something I have to learn to do more. But there's like this. Actual straight shoddy. Get some health. And then, I think we are ready for the boss. Looked it up, it's different devs. Yeah, I didn't play uh, Monolith, but I did hear people talk about that uh, the first time we played this, was that was kind of similar. Similar aesthetic, anyway. Yeah, so you can... I can deflect. I'm out of bullets. Oh my god. See, it's really hard to do anything about bullets flying at you from a boss. But it's just something to learn. That boss I have fought before. Uh, but I have not gone past this map. This map is actually uh, a little tough. I actually really like the music. There were some people who were saying that they, uh, they felt out of place. Ammo. I just have to be really careful. Like, I can't really take a hit. Looks like Monolith and Nuclear Throne. That's another game I haven't played yet. Is Nuclear Throne. But this soundtrack just reminds me of Let It Die, if any of you all played that. Okay. For each enemy killed without touching the ground, yeah, Kyra is her name, 10% extra damage. The Fury recharges automatically when there's no enemies around. That's actually good. Uh, more likely to drop any kind of items when finishing a room. I feel like that's good too. Items dropping means health. And like, I take so many hits in this game. That's her ulti.
Add the piece out. That's the hardest part. It's just not getting tagged. But yeah, it's cool because it's a fast game. It's kind of like all about outplaying these monsters. And I really like that aspect. So stuff like that. Oh my god, I actually landed on the ball. There's also a combo meter. So the better I do keeping up the combo, the more money I get. Okay, <laughs> the ulti helps out a little bit. I was gonna get hit by something, something dumb. There is ammo. If any of you all were wondering why am I not just like spamming bullets. But yeah, even though it's a tough game, it feels really good when stuff works. That was close. Like, hitting a monster down and then chasing it down is just so fun to me. Hey, Clover, have I checked out Hades yet? Yes. I was actually thinking about playing that today. Uh, we had a little vote. And we ended up playing this instead, which is a brand new game that a lot of people haven't seen in chat. Uh, but in Hades, I think my farthest is a uh, Haribo, which is currently at... No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Uh, thank you, Posiak. Uh, my Haribo, I think, is at Heat 7 now. I think I just got a Heat 6 victory. And I'm on a nine-game win streak in that game. I know it is baby difficulties. Wow, I just stood there and did nothing. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. But yeah, the damage. Taking damage in this game is like always bad. The shield's busted. It can be, for sure. I don't have a lot of victories with it because I just don't play it that much. Oh wow, I didn't see the exclamation. There we go. At least the game gave me some health just then.
But yeah, you can see that I basically like hit all the monsters. That's a reflect. And then you just like chase them down. Ow. Hang on. Like this thing actually destroyed me. Okay. Three health, everybody. You've been playing non-stop since you bought the game three days ago. It's already got 30 hours. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Double minigun. Hmm. I do like my shotgun. Maybe we'll upgrade. Yeah, I think this gave me a full clip. So maybe if I'm low on ammo, it's probably best I just pay. Okay, candle mask. I've actually never seen this. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I tried to reflect that so badly. Oh no, I had it. I knew exactly what to do. And I died. Okay, so this is the uh, like the perk screen. Basically, you get these... I don't know what they call them. They are called... Judge Blood. You get regular blood. You get Judge Blood. Judge Blood is the seven in the bottom right hand corner, like right over there. So I can pay, I've gotten a couple things so far. Um, so now we will get this. And the next thing I get, projectiles destroyed by the Fury are converted into ammo and maybe HP, okay. Uh, and we don't have this stuff yet. I don't know what it takes to get to the next level. 